Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. So on today's show, I'll be doing the full brand review of the Adams Polishes line of car detailing products. So it's been a long time coming. A lot of my viewers have been asking me to review the uh, Adams Polishes products for a very long time now. So today is that day. I'll be going through uh, roughly 30 to 40 products of their lineup, telling you what they are, what they do, give you some tips and tricks on how, of course, to use them properly. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start the show. So hey guys, I'm Pan, welcome to the show. I hope you guys are having a great day. So as I said, well, it's been a long time coming. You guys have been begging me for a video from Adams Polishes for a while now. So today I'm gonna go ahead and do one of my famous brand review videos. Now, for those of you who are new to my channel, my brand review videos are essentially an overview of the uh, pretty much the entire lineup of products from a given company that makes car detailing products. I tell you what they are, what those products do, and of course, I also give you some tips and tricks for applicants application so you guys can have a very good experience at home. By the way guys, don't worry, I'll include the links to all of these products in the description down below for you guys to check them out. So no stress, just sit back, relax and enjoy the video. By the way, this video is not sponsored by Adams Polishes, so I was not paid to do this video. Uh, luckily, I got a bunch of these products from a previous video. They sent these products over to me when I did the uh, mystery boxes unboxing in a previous video. You guys can check that out later. Uh, but there's a lot of their products that I had been using for years now, but I essentially completed pretty much the entire collection with what they uh, recently sent me. So I was able to test a bunch of their newer products as well. So stay tuned for those. But uh, essentially, yeah, so let's dig in right into it. So what are we'll be covering today? There's the uh, car wash section, so the products of car soaps. We're uh, going to be moving on to decontamination products and also wheel cleaning. We're going to talk about paint correction, so polishes and compounds. We're going to move on to uh, protection items, so whether it be waxes uh, that are in liquid form or paste form, or silica spray sealants, or even spray-on sealants. We're going to move on to interior products and a couple of their specialty items, and uh, even a couple of their tools that they have in their lineup. So, whew, that's a mouthful, but let's dig right into it. So, the uh, first products we'll talk about are essentially their shampoos. So by the way guys, they do have a lot of products. They're uh, typically aimed to the weekend warriors or beginners in the uh, detailing world as these are better priced products than some more high-end professional grade products. So my viewers are always asking me for um, less expensive alternatives that also do a decent job. So stay tuned until the end because out of all of this 30 to 40 product selection, I'll make sure to keep roughly 10 that I think are essential to any detailers lineup, including professional detailers because there are some products in their lineup that are also used by pros out there. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so first one. This is a car shampoo and it's called Strip Wash. So essentially what this does, it's not a pH neutral soap. So my guess it's in the higher alkaline value because it helps to remove older layers of waxes or paint sealants. So you can strip your paint, bring it to a bare clear coat. So that way your next protection item will be able to bond better to your clear coat. So it's very important, especially when we're doing um, eventual ceramic coatings on a vehicle, you wanna make sure to properly prep the surface. And this is one of the steps. Uh, now this is very similar to Purple Power Vehicle and Boat Wash that I love. That one's pH roughly 11. And uh, this Adams Strip Wash is also very good. But keep in mind this alone, such even the same thing as dishwashing liquid, a lot of people out there you like to use Dawn soap. It's still not enough to remove those fresh layers of waxes or paint sealants. So this is just the initial step. So you start washing with this and then we'll move on to following steps like paint polishing, which truly removes the older layers of waxes or paint sealants. Then we move on to one of my favorite products in their lineup, and this is the Adams Car Shampoo. Now this has won first place in my 2018 Car Detailing Products Awards video for one of the best shampoos out there. Um, I did a, a comparison as well as using it as a pre-wash snow foam because it doubles as that as well. It's a pH neutral shampoo that doesn't contain any additives. Uh, like many of their products in their lineup, Adam does, uh, Adams does a great job with the scent. This one smells like blueberry. 
Um, so, well, yeah, it's important to have a good smelling product when you're actually detailing a car because I personally find that it augments the, uh, the pleasure of actually doing the steps and it just adds to the fun of it. So this is a very, very high quality shampoo. And again, it doubles as a uh, pre-wash snow foam if you want to use it with your foam cannon. So talking about foam cannon, well, Adams released their own ultra foam shampoo. Now, this is a snow foam that's specifically designed to be used with foam cannons. Uh, this one smells like grapes, so it does smell very good. I uh, tested it uh, a while back in one of my videos where I had a snow foam challenge going on, and it did quite well, but again, um, it's a bit more expensive than their regular car shampoo, and this one can uh, wash your car, but also be used as a pre-wash snow foam, so if you had only one of the two to pick, I'd go with the uh, car shampoo. But needless to say, this creates still a lot of great suds. Uh, it's pH neutral and yeah, it's a lot of fun to use because it does work quite well. By the way, you can use these shampoos in direct sunlight, but of course, like any car detailing product to get optimal results, make sure you work in the shade or in a garage and at the beginning of the day or towards the end of the day when the sun is not at its brightest if you absolutely have to work outside. That's to make sure you don't get any streaking or uh, any kind of residue or the paint or the product doesn't dry up on the paint and it just becomes a hassle to, to remove. So make sure you work in optimal conditions. Now for maintenance washes, if you have a car that's waxed or that has a paint sealant, they have their wash and wax. Now this will add a bit more to that protection and add a bit of gloss also when you're done washing your vehicle. It rinses off very cleanly and of course, again, well this is a great product to use if you just want to maintain your protection because it's all about maintenance. So I have a lot of tutorials on my channel showing you how to do uh, maintenance washes on vehicles, including some with ceramic coatings. So if you have a wax or a paint sealant, again, the uh, wash and wax is a great maintenance wash for that. Now, of course, many people don't always have access to free flowing water if you're in a condo or in an apartment or you don't have a garage at home or even during the winter time. So Adams have their own waterless wash. So this is basically a spray on wipe off product. So you use some plush microfiber towels you spray on the surface generously. You'll take one side or one clean side of the towel, do a wipe while lifting the towel gently, and then buff off using a second clean and dry microfiber towel. And then you use the other sides of the towels that are folded in eight. So every time you get a fresh clean side to wipe your vehicle, this adds a lot of lubrication and is actually a pretty good uh, waterless wash for those of you who like that. Uh, again, I have tutorials on waterless wash techniques and even rinseless wash techniques on my channel, so check those out. Next, we're going to move on to the decon stage, so decontamination of the paint. So one of the uh, decontamination steps, or the first one that I like to do, is either a tar remover, if you have tar spots, but more importantly, an iron remover for iron particles that are embedded in the clear coat, and atoms have their iron remover. Now, essentially, this is a product that when it sprays onto the surface, well, eventually it turns purple. That it shows that it has reacted with the iron particles that are embedded into the clear coat. Think about all that brake dust that uh, your wheels throw onto your clear coat. Those are hot iron particles that get embedded into the clear coat. And eventually, well, they do those rust spots. So if you have those orange spots on your paint, that comes from the uh, rust coming from the, uh, the particles of iron that have been spread onto your clear coat. So to remove those, we do a chemical decontamination step using an iron remover. You basically spray this on uh, liberally onto the paint, let it dwell for roughly three to four minutes, it changes color, and then you're ready to rinse off. Now this iron remover is the formula made for the clear coat. You can also use it on wheels, but it's specifically formulated for the clear coat because it's a bit thinner than the product that they have to uh, decontaminate or clean their wheels, which is the wheel cleaner. So this has sort of the same technology as the iron remover because it does contain an iron remover, but it's a bit thicker. So this is specifically used with your wheels, uh, basically on any type of wheels. And um, well, essentially, yeah, it's gonna do a great job at cleaning them, so this wheel cleaner, and it does include an iron remover. So great to remove that embedded brake dust that's on the face or even in the inner barrels of your wheels. Great lubrication as well. So a very good one at that. And talking about wheels, when you're cleaning your wheels, it's very important to also degrease your tires because before you apply a tire dressing, you want to make sure that the rubber is fully clean. That way you'll, your tire dressing is going to bond a lot easier to the rubber. And Adams have their tire and rubber cleaner. This is a very good one for the maintenance and care of your rubber. So uh, this cleans it very well. You use it with a, a stiff bristle brush 
and it works quite well. So you degrease your tire and you rinse it off. A nice quick tip that I like to give, when you're rubbing or scrubbing that degreaser onto your wheels, onto your tires, I mean, if that product is still brown, you rinse it off, you restart the application until that foam becomes white. That's when you know that your tires are fully degreased and fully cleaned. Of course, when you're done cleaning and drying your wheels and tires, it's important to add a tire dressing. Now, Adams have their VRT, which I like a lot. It's similar to Chemical Guy's VRP, which is a water-based uh, tire dressing. But for those of you who add, want to add a bit more gloss, they have the Adams Tire Shine. Now, this one, I'm pretty sure, is a silicone-based um, tire shine or tire dressing, so it'll last a bit longer and it'll give you that wet look that some people like. Personally, I prefer the uh, matte finish on uh, tires, but this one adds a lot of pop and gloss, so and it's very easy to apply, so that's a very good one. So now that we've uh, deconned the paint, of course, if your paint needs it, you can also go ahead and do the clay bar stage. Just run your fingers on the, the uh, clean paint and see if there's any embedded contaminants that are still left over. Or if you feel a gritty surface or sandpaper-like surface, that's when you know it's time to clay a surface. Just keep in mind that a clay bar or a clay mitt or a clay towel is an abrasive material, so you usually follow the clay stages with paint polishing. Talking about paint polishing, well, Adams have their own polishing compounds. So they have their heavy cut compound. So this is the uh, correcting compound for the deeper swirls and scratches and oxidation. So if you have a lot of that on your paint, then you follow that up always with a paint polish. So this is their uh, correcting polish. These, this is the jeweling step. So to add a lot of gloss depth and clarity to the paint. And of course, to remove any marks left over from the compound stage. When you're done with the uh, paint correction, you want to make sure to continue prepping the paint properly. So if you're to apply a wax or a paint sealant, you want to make sure to use a pre-wax cleaner. So Adams has their Revive hand polish. Now this is a pre-wax cleaner that you can apply by hand or with your uh, DA polisher if you also wish. And this is going to essentially remove any leftover uh, previous waxes or sealants if there are any such um, products that are still left on your clear coat or if for example your paint was in good condition and you didn't go ahead with the paint correction stages you want to make sure to still prep your paint with the uh, revive hand polish and then if you want to add a bit of pop a lot of gloss and give that wet look to your paint you're going to use a glaze glazes typically also use fillers so like this brilliant glaze so for those of you who uh, don't want to necessarily go through paint correction but you still want to fill in some minor swirls and scratches, well, these contain fillers. So of course, keep in mind when you're using a glaze, you're not doing true paint correction with a compound or uh, a polish. You're basically masking the imperfections. But of course, it's a quick way for those who don't want to necessarily spend the time to polish their paint with a DA polisher. So you can apply this by hand again or with your uh, machine polish, uh, machine polishing machine if you want. So it's going to hide those minor imperfections and add that wet look to your paint. And of course, it all serves as a bonding agent for your layer of wax or paint sealant. Now, talking about waxes and paint sealants, of course, those are paint protection items. There are three major categories of paint protection. So you have your traditional carnauba waxes, which are organic plant-based from the uh, carnauba plants in Brazil. You then have your synthetic waxes, which are synthetic formulas. You have your paint sealants, that's the second type. Those are entirely synthetic paint protection formulas. So the difference between a wax and a paint sealant, well, typically carnauba waxes last anywhere from two to three months on your uh, paint, and a paint sealant will last typically from five to six months. So double the uh, longevity or durability. And the ultimate form of paint protection is a ceramic coating. Now, Adams has all of those forms of paint protection, so let's cover some of those today. So first of all, you have different types of waxes from uh, most difficult to easiest to apply. First of all, you have their carnauba wax. This is a true paste wax called the Americana wax. This adds a lot of gloss and a lot of pop to your paint, lots of shine. So uh, it comes with its own applicator pad inside. And uh, it's a bit more difficult to apply and to remove than something like their liquid waxes, but it is worth the effort. Uh, durability is also pretty good. So again, two to three months on this one, but it's the ultimate for pop and gloss. Now this is to be applied by hand. For those of you who are looking for something a bit more easier to apply, and this one you can use in direct sunlight, this is their buttery wax. 
So uh, their buttery wax is a liquid wax, so it's a bit easier to apply. You can apply this in direct sunlight for those mobile detailers out there for whom that's important. This is a great one. It also smells like strawberry banana, so uh, it smells pretty good. Very easy to apply, very easy to buff off. So that's one key thing about liquid waxes. And of course, again, you can apply it using their wax or sealant applicator pads like this one, which I love. The ergonomics on these pads are very good. You have places for your fingers. You apply a couple of drops on top of the foam here. You can have the yellow one for a paint sealant if you want, and they have red ones as well for waxes. Basically color code them. They're identical. It's just the color coding that you guys select. And so you put a couple of pea-sized drops onto the pad, and then in uh, movement of top to bottom, left to right, so in a crosshash pattern, you can apply that on top of your paint. Some guys also like to use circular movements to apply waxes or paint sealants. It doesn't matter, it won't scratch your paint because these products don't contain any abrasives inside there, so just don't uh, overthink the moment. So, after that, you have the synthetic form, which is the paint sealant. Now, this has double the durability of a traditional carnauba wax. Again, this is in liquid form, very easy to apply the same way as you'd apply a liquid wax onto your paint. So what some people do is they like to apply a base layer of a paint sealant because this has a bit of a colder shine but has higher durability. So you apply that as a base layer onto your paint and then you top it off with your favorite layer of carnauba wax, either the buttery liquid wax or the Americana wax. So that top layer gives you a more warm glow, so better depth and gloss to your paint. So it's the best of, both, best of both worlds. So you get the durability of a paint sealant, and of course you get the nice warm glow and shine of a carnauba wax. So when you're done applying your waxes and sealants, what you want to do is maintain that protection during your maintenance washes. That's very important. And of course, they have a bunch of different ways to do so. First of all, Adams has a classic that is loved by everybody in the industry, and it's their famous detail spray. Now, what a detail spray does, let's be very clear about this. This is typically used as a drying aid. So when you're done washing and rinsing your vehicle, you spray this liberally onto your panels and it helps with drying because it adds a bit of lubrication and increases gloss when you're done detailing your car. So it gives it that last final detailed touch to the paint that we all love. Uh, but this does not contain any protection items inside. So this is purely a detail spray. They have many different versions, by the way, of this because this smells amazing, but uh, Adams works a lot on their scents and they have limited editions that come out from time to time. So make sure you check those out like this one. This is their pumpkin spice scented detail spray. This smells absolutely amazing. Uh, they have a lot of products that they come out with limited editions that smell like pumpkin spice, by the way. Now this one, the international detail spray, smells very bubblegum-like or very candy-like, so another different scent. So another iteration of that classic detail spray. And for those of you out there who love coffee, they, well, they have their cars and coffee scented one. So this is another great version, again, of the same product, just in different scents. So depending on what you like. So again, detail spray, great to use as a detail spray or as a drying aid, of course, to add a bit of touch of pop and gloss. And now at SEMA, they unveiled a new product that brings the detail spray up a notch by adding some protection as well. And this is their brand new spray wax. This smells like raspberries. So again, the scent is insane. And this just bumps everything up a notch because you can use it as a drying aid or as a last step protection, either on its own or to top off your existing layers of waxes or paint sealants. Very easy to apply. You basically spray and you buff and that's it. And of course it contains that carnauba infused material. So you're adding a bit more protection uh, on its own. It can last anywhere from one to two months. Let's, let's say 30 days of protection in real world conditions, but essentially it's gonna top off your existing waxes and layers and increase the gloss at the same time. So this is another option. For those of you who wanna protect your paint, but don't necessarily wanna go through all the steps of a proper ceramic coating or a paint sealant, you have the option to use the H2O Garden Gloss. Again, this is their new formula with hybrid technology. This new formulation was unveiled again at the SEMA show in Las Vegas. And this essentially is a spray-on sealant that you apply on a wet surface. So you're done washing your paint. 
you're done rinsing it, and while the paint is still wet, you're going to spray this liberally onto your paintwork because this is water activated. Essentially, it's going to seal your paint, and that's it. You're good to go. You dry it up, and you have a lot of gloss and protection. This new formulation, of course, doesn't streak as much as the previous one, so it's uh, free of any streaking in my testing. It works very, very well. It's going to give you all those hydrophobic properties, that UV protection, that shine, and that gloss in a very easy-to-apply formulation. Uh, you can also apply this to a dry surface, so you'd spray a lot of it onto a damp microfiber towel. You're going to apply it liberally onto your paint, use a secondary dry towel to buff it off, and that's it. So you have two application methods, but this one essentially, uh, use my advice, apply it on a wet surface because it's water activated and it works very, very well. Now, when you have a ceramic coating, ceramic coatings, consumer grade ones, typically last two years or more, and some professional grade coatings last upwards of three years. Now, if you've applied a ceramic coating to your car and you want to maintain it, it's very important that you do not apply waxes or paint sealants on top of those coatings, as typically those products are not compatible or they will be shed by the coating, or even worse, they can change the performance or the way the coating behaves. So. Products that are compatible with ceramic coatings are silica spray sealants like Adam's own Ceramic Boost. This is their brand new 2.0 formulation. So much easier to apply. It doesn't leave any streaks or not as, as much streaks as their first formulation. So basically you're done washing your car that's ceramic coated. You dried it up. Then you'll come up with this and mist it generally on the paint and you're going to wipe away with a dry and clean microfiber towel. So this way you're adding a lot more protection to your ceramic coating and you're basically using this as a sacrificial layer on top of your coating. It's going to boost gloss as well and uh, basically rejuvenate your existing ceramic coating. For those of you who don't have any form of paint protection on your paint, you can also use this as a standalone product. Typically, these types of silica spray sealants will give you another two to three months of protection. So uh, what I like to do is every two to three washes on ceramic coated cars, I like to boost their performance with a silica spray sealant like the Atom Ceramic Boost. Now, for those of you who want to apply waxes, again, Carnuba paste waxes on top of coatings are a no-no. However, they did release their Adams ceramic paste wax. Now this is infused with uh, roughly a third, so 33% of uh, silicon dioxide or SiO2. So this product is capable of being applied on top of a ceramic coating. So it basically adds a lot of pop and gloss and is compatible with ceramic coatings because it's silica or silicon dioxide infused. So it comes with its own applicator pad, this foam pad, and it uh, basically applies like um, any type of uh, paste wax that you'd have out there. Very easy to apply, very easy to remove, and it will increase the properties and protection of your existing ceramic coating. So again, these are two forms of uh, maintenance products that you can use for your ceramic coatings. Or again, you can also use these as standalone products if you don't have any protection on your paint and you want the best of both worlds of the gloss and shine of a wax and of course the durability and hydrophobic properties and UV protection of uh, SiO2 based ceramic coatings. Well, you can use a wax like this. So now let's move on to the interior detailing products because they also cover those as well. So well, for interior or exterior use, they have an all-purpose cleaner. The, these, by the way, they're all ready to use formulas. So uh, this one here is very good. So whether you're doing engine bay degreasing, even if you want to degrease your tires as well, or as a general cleaner for the uh, inside of your vehicle, it's pretty much safe on all surfaces, interior or exterior, that you want to use an all-purpose cleaner for. Next, we move on to a leather and interior cleaner. So this is a formula specifically done for modern clear-coated leathers because, of course, Modern leathers are pretty much all coated in a plastic clear coat on top, so you have to clean and degrease that before you go ahead and apply a conditioner or a coating on top of your leather. So this is a very good leather cleaner. Next, we move on to the interior detailer. So if your car only has a bit of dust inside and you want to make sure you give it that nice detailed touch, well, you'll use something like an interior detailer. So it doesn't have, of course, all the cleaning properties as a true interior cleaner but it gives that nice OEM factory feel to it. So I see this as a last touch product for the interior to give it that ultimate detailed touch. Again, doesn't leave any streaks. Next, we move on to an odor neutralizer. Now, a lot of you people use uh, car air fresheners, which is a good thing because it adds odor. 
But uh, for those jobs where you need something to remove actual odors, such as tobacco, you need something a bit stronger. So without going to the extreme of using ozone machines, sometimes using something like an odor neutralizer that actually encapsulates those molecules of bad odors and destroys them, this is the way to go. And this happens to be a pumpkin spice uh, scented one, so <laughs> it's pretty cool. And then they have their ammonia-free glass cleaner. Now this is a very effective glass cleaner, doesn't leave any streaks to your windows, so it's very important to use a uh, glass a product that doesn't contain any ammonia if you have tinted glass, because ammonia can destroy tinted windows. So of course this is a very good one. Again, you can use this even in direct sunlight in my testing, no streaking left, so it's uh, pretty good for interior and exterior glass, of course. Now a couple of specialty products that they do have, so once you're done properly cleaning and even claying the glass, if you have a lot of those grit or that crap that's encrusted inside of the glass, you can remove that with a clay bar. Once you're done cleaning the glass, you can apply a glass sealant. So a glass sealant typically will add hydrophobic properties to your glass. So the water basically sheds off very quickly and you basically don't even need uh, your wipers anymore. It'll last a couple of months, very easy to apply and to remove. If you have faded plastics, that often happens, especially outside on your plastic trim, because it fades with the uh, sun's UV rays over time and gives that chalky white appearance, which is not nice. They have a product called their Black Trim Restore. Again, very easy to apply and remove, and this will restore the uh, black factory look to that trim. Of course, when you're done cleaning <laughs> and all your detailing work, you probably, well, of course, I always recommend that you guys wear gloves. But if for some reason you didn't wear any hand protection, they have a hand cleaner that contains uh, some stuff inside there that will help you remove any crap that's on your hands and, of course, help to degrease them. Um, just a couple of pea-sized drops into your hands and then it foams up quite well with water. So this is a great way to remove uh, any grease or any products that you have on your hands so you don't contaminate yourself. Then in the applicators, again, there's a couple that I really, really like. First of all, the Hex Pro Applicator for Tire Dressing. This is the Hex Grip Tire Dressing Applicator. As you guys have probably seen me in many of my videos, this is my favorite one that I use to apply tire dressings because not only does it uh, hold well into your hand, but you apply a bit of the product and it works well, especially on uh, lower profile tires. Then they have their wax and sealant applicator pads, as I talked a bit before. So they have the yellow ones and red ones. They're the same type of foam. You just use the ones to color code them. You can have, let's say, the yellow one for a paint sealant and the red one for a wax, you guys decide. So these hold well in your hand. There is a foam block that a lot of people like to use with their tire dressings as well. So you have the larger surface here or the slimmer one here if you want to use it on slimmer tires. So of course, always depends what you guys prefer the most. They also have great microfiber applicator pads. So to apply those liquid waxes or the liquid paint sealants, these are very good. And of course, they won't scratch the paint because they're made out of microfiber. So these are microfiber lined foam pads. All right, so now for a moment you've been waiting for, well, I nailed their entire lineup down to roughly 12 products that I think should be part of any detailing arsenal because they're good for not only enthusiasts and weekend warriors, but also many professionals use these ones. These are very high performing versions. And of course they're inexpensive, just like many of the uh, Adams car detailing products. That's the good part about them, great value for money. And many of them, or I think the majority of their products are made in the USA. So the first one, their iron remover, so this is good for uh, the entire paintwork. Very good one at that. Their strip wash, so this is a soap that you use to strip old waxes or sealants off the car's paint. Their car shampoo, pH neutral, no additives inside, works great also as a pre-wash cleaner or pre-wash soap with your foam cannon. For those who want to maintain their waxed or paint sealed cars, the wash and wax shampoo is a very good one. To clean those rubber tires, of course, the tire and rubber cleaner is an awesome product from Adams. To clean wheels, this is a great wheel cleaner that also contains an iron remover, so very good wheel cleaner. To clean the glass, streak-free and of course no ammonia, their glass cleaner is a very uh, good one. So for those who like liquid waxes that you can also use in direct sunlight, easy on, easy to buff off and give that wet look, the buttery wax is a great wax. You can't, of course, miss out on their detail spray. So used as a drying aid, that's, this adds a bit of gloss to your paint and adds lubrication in your drying stages. And they have many special versions of this with their scents over the year. So their detail spray is a classic. 
if you want to bump that up a notch and you want to add protection, so you want to increase the protection of your current wax or uh, paint sealant, you can use their new spray wax. It smells amazing. It's the same thing as a detail spray, so the same base chemical components, but they also add Carnuba inside it, so you have that protection. For those who want a simple to apply spray on paint sealant, and of course that's water activated, their H2O guard and gloss, very easy to apply, gives that slick look to the paint and of course a bunch of gloss, very, very easy and very quick to apply and this new formulation with hybrid technology doesn't leave any streaks. And for those who want to maintain their ceramic coatings and want a silica spray sealant, well the new 2.0 version of Ceramic Boost is a very, very good one at that. So uh, in general, there are many products from the Adams lineup that are not really necessary or don't perform as well as others that I've used in my lineup. But uh, these guys here personally are very, very good. Some of them have even won awards in my 2018 or 2017 Car Detailing Products Awards video. And uh, who knows, they might win awards in my upcoming 2019 future uh, Car Detailing Products Awards video. So stay tuned. Again, you have many tutorials on my channel on how to use many of these products. So uh, go ahead and enjoy the content. Also, you can't miss out on their foam applicators. So the hex grip one for the tire dressings that I absolutely love and their applicators for waxes and paint sealants that are also very good. Guys, by the way, I'll make sure to include all the links to the products in the description under the video so you guys can check them out. If you enjoyed the video, smash the thumbs up button to show me your support. If you haven't done so yet, make sure to click the subscribe button that's found under this video and that way you'll subscribe to my channel so you'll never miss my future videos and continue to learn more about car detailing, so products, equipment, tips, trips, and techniques. And of course, thanks for being there, thanks for watching, and in the meantime, don't forget, keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll see you guys on the next one.